Yes, it is busy. It's crazy. We literally flew in from London last night. You know, our time schedules are all whack. We're kind of loopy, uh -huh. but it's amazing. It's such a cool opportunity because you trace it back like three or four years ago, like uh -huh. we would have killed for the opportunity to even go visit London. Just trying to appreciate what we got. It's like, man, there are a lot of people out there trying to do music and we get to be in New York City today singing for fans and, you know, having our songs on the radio. It's it's a dream come true. So we're yeah. trying to try to soak it in and, uh, you know, still be hungry, still be competitive, still try to get to the next step, but appreciate where we're at at the, that's at the a moment. Great, that's a great thought. We're going to be rocking. We're here in New York City. Um, we cannot wait for tonight. So we are only, I think, four hours away from the release of our new album right now and doing what we do best, drinking a little tequila. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cheers, dude. Here we go, boys. Super exciting times. Uh, we are in New York City at the iHeartRadio Theater, about to perform for some fans, and it's going to be broadcast to every iHeartRadio station, which is pretty insane. That's big. <laughs> That's how big the record's gonna be. Exactly. Month, that's big. That's huge. This is really huge. Huge. You know, we, this is our third album. The first two albums, you're kind of learning who you are, figuring out what you want to do musically. The first album was a collection of demos we had done just on a laptop in our friend's basement. Second album, you're kind of taking chances, experimenting. But the third album, you know, you really figure out who you are, where you want to go. And you take those learning experiences of being on the road in front of amazing country music fans like you guys, seeing what y'all react to, you know, feeling the vibes, and you put that onto the record. And this just really felt like that time where we were like, this is it. This is Dan and Shay. This is who we want to be, and this is where we want to go. So, boom, self-titled yep. album available tonight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we just played our uh, iHeart Radio release party. It was incredible. Happy birthday, early birthday. Got an album coming out, man. It's coming soon. Shout out to the fans for being amazing. So cool to hear the fans sing the words to the new songs. Insane. We're going to release our album tonight. This is nuts, man. We're pumped. So cheers to you, Dan. I don't oh. have a cup, but uh, that's okay. Yeah. He hasn't slept in two years. He's been working on this record, um, and I, I'm so proud of you know how far he's come as a producer. He's produced all three of our records, yep. and this is by far the best material that he's. I mean, he absolutely crushed it. Uh, it made me sound really good on the record, so thanks for that. I paid him to say all this. <laughs> no. As the guy who pushes the buttons, I've got the best lead singer in the world, like arguably the best, one of the best vocalists ever. I mean. I paid yeah, you to say that. I did. Yeah, I'll you give you did, five yeah. bucks later. Thank you. And I was like, how do we just not, how do we do things that support that lead vocal? How do we not get in the way of that? I mean, because the vocal is so impressive. Everything else like that would be stacked up, you know, walls of guitars, doubling the rhythm guitars might take away that space. And if there's other things washing that out, you may not get that crisp lead vocal on the radio. And, uh, and there's something like stunning about that and impressive. You know, you can't hide behind all the gimmicks and tricks. Click on that video. It's a really cool place that we're at right now, and uh, we feel that we've matured musically and as people. You know, we both are married now. I have a I have a kid, uh, so it's really cool to be able to to be in this place that we're at, and we're just we're super uh, we're content, but we're not complacent. We're gonna keep pushing forward and try to keep making uh, better and better music.
put this into the drum intro. All together into that. special guest, Miss Mega Trader. Hey! How are you? Are you excited? That's so good. So I'm pumped. She came here that. just to watch us. Sing. Sing. Baby, I still see a heart. I wrote a t-shirt. The same one you wore when we were. Sky high in Colorado. Lips pressed against the bottle. Standing on a Bible, baby, I never leave you. I remember that. Amazing, the crowd was incredible. We're headed to Vivo right now to do a little acoustic version of Tequila. 
How's that escalator, Shay? It's it's a it's a nice view from back here. What's up? When I taste tequila. It's been really cool to see not only how our music has grown, uh, our fans have kind of grown up with us now. It's been you know five or six years since we started, so it's just a really it's a really cool place that we're at right now. And we did this record. You know, we just really wanted to put our stamp on it. You know, we wanted to make sure that we deliver something to our fans that is truly us. You know, something that we poured our hearts and souls into. We never stopped writing. We worked so hard on this record for two years, so it was cool to have that moment where it was no longer just a batch of crazy 20 gig Pro Tools sessions, and it was just songs, songs for people to consume and just listen to as music and you know feel the emotion from them.